Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just came in and we're going to be doing a pretty significant uh, transformation of this piano for some people who are fairly sentimental for this piano, and rightly so. This is a beautiful little Baldwin Acrosonic. And Acrosonics have long since told people that, uh, that they're phenomenal little pianos, really far head, head and shoulders above any other spinet. Um, they're just consistently expressive and rich and full. Which, which generally you don't get from uh, any other spinets, among other, among other great attributes that they have. And this particular one is a beautiful little piano. In fact, in fact the technician that, uh, that um, is started to work on it um, had a look at it and said, wow, this is a really pretty little piano, which, which I totally agree. So uh, given the, that it's an acrosonic and given the sentimental value really above all, and just the, just the aesthetic um, care that went into building this piano. This is going to be a really fun and um, worthy project. So um, let's, let's check it out. It's in, it's in very rough condition, rightfully so. It's a 1941, so I guess that's going on 80 years almost. We're going to be doing a, basically a complete um, refurbishing of the, of the inside. So that, that involves um, a full, very thorough cleaning. We're going to be redoing the keys, the sharps, the bushings. We're going to reshape the hammers, repin all of the hammers. We're going to be replacing a lot of the felt and the leather throughout. Of course, an alignment, voicing, pitch raise, tuning. Um, we might do a little pin block work, depending on what we discover. Um, uh, of course, a full regulation. So, and I might be missing some other things, but it's a, it's a very thorough, um, redo of the of the guts and then on the outside we're going to do a full refinishing so it's going to be a gorgeous piano when it's done it's going to be a really really dramatic turnaround so let's uh, let's get some camera shots of it and then I'll then I'll play it and kind of get some get some before uh, um, assessment so let's check out the bench the bench is in it's the original bench you can see the matching legs the bench is in very rough condition and the, uh, and the finish, you can see, let's get that in the right light, and you can, it really is obvious with all of these problems throughout. This, this part here is missing a piece that's supposed to hold it up. Um, just a really, really rough veneer on the top, really all over, all around. And uh, the keys, let's get a shot of the keys. Keys are literally falling apart. We're going to completely redo those. And I don't know how, how well it's coming through, the, the sharps being so dark, but what I see here in person, as opposed to on the video, is these sharps are just, uh, just in terrible condition, and the bushings, same thing. The keys are very wobbly. Those bushings will be nice and tight. I'm not sure what we're going to do about the, the knobs. I, I forgot to ask the, um, the people about, uh, about those knobs. And, that's, and then the pedals and the wheels, the little casters on the front. Those are going to be totally turned around. You can see how, how absolutely filthy everything is, which is normal. Basically, every piano that we get in um, is, this, is this level of, of dust and debris and, and dirt. So that'll all be redone. There's the drop action. And let's open up the... pins off of this already. Just started to get ready to work on it. Oh, there's the there's that piece that, uh, that supports the, the fall board, or the uh, music desk. It's just in, it's all bent up and the screws are all stripped and torn out. Action. So, so the, like I said a minute ago, we're not going to be replacing the hammers. The hammers, uh, they they're in terrible condition, but they still have they still have good life left in them. So those are going to be completely transformed. Uh, and then the action, same thing, total transformation of the action. Hey, let's let's hear. It. Hammer 
just kind of bobbling. <laughs> comes through again on the, in the audio of the video, but uh, I'm, I'm hearing getting lots of kind of squeaky metallic action noise in there. in the touch or the tone frankly for that matter that uh, that I would expect out of a piano in general but a Baldwin acrosonic in particular so looking forward to seeing the restoration of this piano it's going to be a dramatic transfer uh, turnaround thanks for watching